Okay, there's a big wave there. I, I don't I don't want to fuck with that, so let's destroy those guys. Boom! FreeMMOStation.com What's going on, Free MMO Station? My name is Skylant, and today we're going to be playing a game called Art of War Red Tides. This is going to be a lane offense defense RTS, kind of similar in vain. Uh, I don't know, something like Clash Royale or Minion Masters, which is a game we recently also uh, did a review on. So, anyways, this is, I think, going to be ported to mobile devices based on my experience with the game, but on PC, it's fine enough. Not perfect, but it's actually a pretty decent game, and it has some very interesting concepts, especially for somebody who's a novice to RTSs like me. I've only played Little War Game, which is an awesome, fantastic browser-based free-to-play RTS that I really suggest you play, but Red Tides is different. It's lane offense defense. So, what I mean by that is, it's somewhere in between tower defense and an RTS, okay? It's pretty weird. Oh, we got a match. Okay, let's go. Jump in, dude. Alright, so I'm gonna play with the Terran, um, characters. Now, this FPS is, I don't know, maybe it's locked because on mobile devices, but, uh, yeah, the, the, it, this is locked here. Um, but in-game, it's gonna actually be a full 60 FPS, but I don't know why in the portraits it's locked like that. It's pretty weird. We also have rune pages, apparently. I'm gonna choose that skill. I'm gonna choose this skill. Actually, I'm gonna reorient them there. There we go. Okay, we're gonna confirm. Now, we have three different factions, so we have a Terran, we have, um, more like a bestial type of race, the Yaogwai, and then the Atlit? So something, Atl Atlin? Oh, Alta, Al Atlac. The Atlac. They're kind of Protossian. Obviously, you know, uh, reminiscent of StarCraft. So here we go, 3v3. It is a single lane with uh, a couple towers. Kind of Aram. Think, think Aram if it was an RTS. Alright, so we get to choose, uh, units per wave. So this is where it kind of seems like tower defense. So, the first thing I'm gonna send out is I'm gonna send out a, uh, a pyro. I'm gonna send out a pyro. I don't know the actual, uh, terms there. So we actually have, um, just like an RTS, we have resources that actually build up every Our wave. So, but like, but like, though. you know, a uh, tower defense game, you do go in waves. So here we go, we're gonna send out, he's gonna send out his units, which are very, very fast, apparently. There we go. Now we it is um we're a couple of players are fighting AI so that's kind of what I'm doing for the first impression. All right now here is this guy's units. Okay I'm gonna send out um let's see I'm gonna get a tank here. These guys are kind of tank here. Um and let's go with some let's spam crossbowmen. Let's go with crossbowmen. Okay we can only have one of each so that's what we're gonna do here. Yep and here are my units now. So it's my turn. So I've got a tank type character. I've got a pyro, which is AoE to, to fend off their a lot of light characters, which he, he has actually. So this should work. And we actually did do a tremendous amount of damage. Now, the one thing that kind of sucks is that you can't really decide what the AI does. Um, for instance, you saw my pyro ran ahead of my tank. I really don't like that. I wish there was a way to time that, um, like place them on your board here. But as you can see, the pyro is in the back, and yeah, it just—it just—that's the one weird thing. Uh, there's times where like anti-air will be at the bottom here, uh, fighting the base, and not up top, actually fighting aircraft. So it gets—it gets weird. So Let's upgrade the mine. Is upgrading. That's gonna be upgrading. So we can't summon any more of these. Oh no, we were, we were able to get one more. So I want one more pyro, just in case it gets eliminated. Uh, the guy I go against seems to be kind of um, spammy. So we'll see. Now, don't worry guys, it's not just wave for one character, waves for another characters. Um, sometimes the waves, they, like, things will start bunching up. You'll, your characters are gonna start merging, you know, the waves are gonna start globbing together and you're gonna create monster waves. See, why is the pyro up here? I really want the pyros to be down there, it was just like a lot of wasted time. Um, you're gonna have to kind of keep that in mind as you make your waves. Like, maybe have more tanks than you'd be, you know, comfortable with. So here are this guy's waves. Almost, yeah, yeah, it kind of met up with mine, so the py my pyro is still kind of doing some damage a little bit, I think. No, his, okay, that's the enemy's pyro, actually. So yeah, the waves kind of met up. Oh, wow, we got countered pretty hard there. Now my mine's being upgraded. We also have upgrade points for our units. I'm going to focus on the pyro, so I'm going to upgrade on these guys so they have more health. They actually don't have that much health, so you know what, forget that. Uh, what does this guy upgrade? He upgrades damage. I wish he upgraded health. I wish there was way to, ways to tell. This guy does some damage, so yeah, we'll upgrade crossbowmen. We're going to spam these guys. Let's spam crossbowmen. They, they're kind of tanky. They're kind of tanky. They're a mix between a tank and damage dealer. Uh, at least they're ranged, which is pretty hype. Uh, we can also do bombing runs. Now, I don't know if we can do bombing runs whenever, like during other people's waves or not. Right now, it's on Homie Theklo's turn, whatever. It looks like they're saving a lot of, uh... I don't know, they got a lot of energy they're not kind of quite using. Okay, there's a big wave there. I, I don't, I don't want to fuck with that, so... Let's destroy those guys. Boom! We got a lot of gold there. 
Now, that's a bombing run, and uh, different factions have different abilities, it seems, I think. Or at least there's different abilities that you can pick and choose from, which is what I did at the beginning. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna use airborne. Well, it calls an aircraft, you get some transported troops. Alright, so we need more tanks. We need- let's get another tank there. Alright, we got three tanks, two pro- oh, snap. Oh, he's gonna- he's call- oh, the AI is calling in some dudes. Oh boy, now I, I wish you could zoom in, but actually I can't zoom in right now. This kinda sucks. Okay, okay, let's see, we can choose a different unit. Um, do they have any air? They don't have any air yet. Yet. So there's no point in me getting this, but I would like the Mangonel. Whatever. Um, especially since we're gonna be fighting against some turrets here pretty soon. Maybe not yet. We'll see. Now, holy crap, the swarm though. The swarm is real. Actually, since there is so much swarming, is a ground attack aircraft of Terran with permanent cloaking. Let's go with this guy. Let's use this guy. Let's use uh, that. We'll summon one of those. Now, as you can see, you can only have a certain amount of units. Now, you can recall certain units, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I don't- I still don't see any aircraft, but uh, they're starting to siege pretty hard here, so let's go ahead and get some more tanks here. And I think it is time we upgrade. So what is this upgrade? Is extra damage? Let's do that. Let's upgrade this guy. Upgrade big damages. Alright. So yeah, the game does- is gonna get kind of clusterfuckery, but it's gonna be pretty awesome. What is going on here? Somebody just used a special ability. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save Airborne. I wanna use it, but I'm gonna save it for when we- when I see we have an obvious monster wave. I wanna make it even more monstrous. Do they have any cloaked? I don't think so. The enemy AI shouldn't have any cloaked whatsoever. They might later on though, but uh... So I don't need to use my scouts. But uh, they're doing- they're just doing a, a massive amount of damage. Oh, there we go. There's some big stuff. There's some big stuff there. That's- a, this, this should be a big wave. I don't know why he has so much anti-air. I guess because of the scouts? Um, and we do have a teammate that does use invis units, so maybe that is good. I don't think we needed that much anti-air, but, uh, there's that, you know? Alright, so we are gonna be spamming crossbowmen here. It could be good to spam tanks, though. So then we can, uh, work in conjunction with our allies. So they're alive longer. So we can make more monster waves. That could be a good idea. That could probably be a good idea. So actually, we have a pretty big wave here. We're gonna start sieging. I want that coinage. I want to start using this guy. Now, as you can see, also, the netcode keeps everyone in, in tune, okay? So, the game might look a little bit choppy, but that's just so everybody's, you know, on a same, even playing field. I think a lot of RTSs use this, some fighting games do it. It's bad in fighting games, but in real-time strategy games, you want everybody to be, you know, in, in real time. If it's got a pause for everybody to be on the same page, then, no, uh, that's fine. It, that worked really well in Little War game as well. Alright, um, so I really want this guy. If I sell everything, will I be able to afford it? I don't actually know. So, here, let's... Let's go ahead and, and sell all of these. Let's sell those guys. Uh, let's sell these guys. Can I afford a siege now? Okay, got the siege, and now we can build up tanks. Now we gotta, we gotta get back our tanks. Uh, get, now get back the tanks. How many of these can we have? All these. I did want one siege machine, though. One siege machine would be great. Alright, so I don't know if this pushes- Oh, shit, actually, no, this pushes hype, dude. We're going- we're going places, dude. I'm gonna be using this, and on their next wave, I'm gonna be spawning this and attacking, uh, the wave. Now, the waves spawn up here, which is why I complained earlier about the, uh, the one type character going down below. So, yeah, anti-aircrafts, for some reason, like, see, his are also kind of congregating on the bottom, but the waves spawn up top, so sometimes these anti-aircrafts will be attacking things they really should not be attacking. Alright, we got a special ability, we're gonna utilize that so we can anti-siege. Oh, yeah, dude, we took down his, uh, airship, so... Pff. There goes that, friend. Oh yeah, we're doing massive damage. Of course, to be expected, players versus an AI. We're gonna win. We're gonna win, but you're gonna see also the gameplay. The true gameplay, here. It is pretty cool. Too bad you didn't guys didn't get to see the other faction, though. The other faction seemed pretty interesting. So there's three factions that you can choose from, and the game consists of 3v3 gameplay. What the fuck is this? There's a dragon, dude! What the hell, man? Anyways, that's, uh, quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Can we actually summon another one of these? Aww, okay. Wait, can we actually? Can we get another one of these? Yeah, oh, no, we could. Alright, let's go use one of these. And let's summon in, uh... Oh, we can't summon another units. There's the bombing run. There, we just destroyed that wave there. So we should have another monster wave coming up. Good, okay, the anti-aircraft is up top there. And they don't have any stealth. I think we got the, we got enough units. We got it. Okay, oh, we gotta kill this dragon, dude. It's actually, um... Oh my gosh, dude. I did not even know there was units this big. That is so cool. But in order to summon those giant, uh, monsters, though, I think you gotta, like, 
You're gonna like quickly sell a lot of shit and then kill it. Oh man, I used that ability just as they died. So, oh shit, can I upgrade these? Oh sorry, I gotta upgrade this. I didn't know my economy was so low. I didn't realize I was keeping up the pressure. Sorry guys, sorry guys, all right. Next up, they still don't have any air. Um, So we're gonna go with, should we spam riflemen? How many riflemen? How many? All the riflemen? A massive amount of riflemen? Oh my gosh. Oh my. So all in all, the game seems to have a really high production value. And if this goes on mobile devices, or if it is on mobile devices, I expect to see it being pretty freaking popular, especially with the popularity of just tower defense games and uh, more competitive tower defense games and stuff like Clash Royale, you know? And Minion Masters. It's pretty hype. Uh, if you want actual like competitive tower defense, there's Balloons TD, which you can also check out. Or is it called Balloons Battle TD? Something like that. But this is pretty interesting as well. There is ranked in this game as well. It is a ranked game. So I'm really, I'm really excited for light versions of genres. Like the RTS genre has been kind of waning. Um, so it's really cool to see these light RTSs and these these competitive tower defense games come out. And I'm definitely a fan of these very original concepts, especially to such a high production value. So yeah, absolutely. I'm going to hype this game up. I'm going to share it. I, I think this is pretty neat. The tutorial was really quick and clean. Now you do have to actually collect your different units. What the fuck? What is going on? Are these like these turtle llama things? What the hell? We got some turtle llamas. I have no idea where those came from, but okay. We should be good to go. I've got as many units as I can pretty much have. Uh, I can probably have more um, pyros. But yeah, you gotta get through all the towers, just like ARAM, and then you gotta kill the final base, which I don't think shoots back. So once you get there, it becomes pretty clutch, guys. It becomes pretty clutch. Use these special abilities here. We should be able to take out that uh, tower. Yeah, there we go. He didn't get to send out too many units. We killed basically half his units there. And we can actually upgrade something, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and upgrade probably- Oh no, we can't upgrade that. We need two upgrades for that. Let's upgrade these guys. Extra damage. 3% extra damage doesn't seem like much, but you have to remember how much you're spamming units. So 3% extra damage for all like 30 different units. It's gonna add up, friend. It's gonna add up. Oh man, dude. So yeah, pretty exciting game here. Pretty exciting game. I know it's not- it's not a full-fledged RTS, but maybe because of that, It'll actually get played, unlike a lot of other full-fledged RTS. But if you do want a free-to-play full-fledged RTS, the only one that I've really fallen in love with, and it's browser-based, is Little War Game. So I can definitely suggest that. Now, there's actually a lot of light RTSs, 2D RTSs, uh, out there on mobile devices. I really hope this goes to mobile devices, Android especially. Uh, that I think that'll be really exciting. So overall, this is pretty awesome. Now, there's some things that make it kind of seem like it's not a great PC port, like how this is limited FPS, but honestly, it's, it's pretty good. This is pretty decent. I really like the concept, and at first, I would have given this a thumbs up if it was just 1v1, but it's actually 3v3. Well, Anyways, guys, we just got the W, we got the victory, uh, and we had some fun there. So, we had an MVP, homie kind of knew what he was doing, so uh, that's pretty hype. Now, this is the faction you start out with. I do wish that you could choose the faction. Oh, cool, I, got, I think I got the medic now, right? Oh, I almost got the medic. Okay, so yeah, you have to actually level up and get your units, so right now, I'm not even in the game, basically. There's so much more to the game, there's so much more depth. Um, I could definitely see this game being really popular with streamers, so I can actually show you all the different units. So this is for the Terran um, characters here. You can see there's a lot of units that I didn't actually utilize. Some are pretty silly, but these are basically like the humans, human robots. Um, motorcycle is freaking cavalry. It's, it's just so random. So we have defense, anti-air support, uh, basically units there. And then we have also the Atlac, and you kind of saw some of their stuffs. Um, yeah, so pretty, pretty crazy. Oh, there's actually cards behind these? Oh, there is, isn't there? Defense, Shield Slave, Anti-Air, Axe Slave. Oh, okay, and then there's a there's an Axe Slave and Staff Slave. There's a giant whales and stuff, so... Hold on, actually, and Terran. So if I go to, uh, Motorcycle... Oh, yeah, there's even units behind these. So there's different variations of the units as well. And so let's go to Yaogwai. So there's there's actually more units than I even thought. Uh, different kinds of bats, the toads. Where Where's that Where's that dragon, dude? I want to see the dragon. What... I don't know, anyways, um, so yeah, seems pretty interesting, seems pretty fun, obviously it's, like, inspired by a lot of games, but I think it's really, really unique, okay, I definitely do, maybe not aesthetically, but, like, when you get into the gameplay, it's definitely special, so thanks so much for watching, guys, my name is Skylant, you can check me out on my personal channel at Skylant Games, or twitch.tv slash Skylant, or right here at Free MMO Station, thanks so much for watching, guys, I really hope you have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.